Now from professional to high school we go as playoffs continue for Michigan State High School football. And it's time we take a look at your top plays from the past week. This week begins with an eight-man team that's making waves. It's the Lakeland and Hubble Lakes. Well, it's Matthew Jokula who receives a Jets kickoff and he would take it all the way down the sideline for a touchdown. The Lakes were looking good last week. Top play number four takes us to Ishwaming. A nice play here. Perfect pass hits Hunter Smith in stride and a big touchdown for the Hematites. Not an easy thing to do right there, but nonetheless, a good pass from Ishwaming. Top play number three, Mountaineers score here. Iron Mountain, Ty Jacobson, 50-yard pass to Matthew Kolovecki. And well, he does the rest, takes it in for a touchdown for the Mountaineers. Top play number two, Gladstone. The Gladstone Braves here. Eli Bertham getting past not one, not two, but three defenders for the touchdown. We'll take a look at it here again. Some pure power on display for the Braves running back. But your top play of the week goes to the Menominee Maroons. Trevor Turkoff here showing off the arm. Lots of time to throw and has Nathan Crump open in the end zone. Makes the catch touchdown for the Maroons. A big win for them in playoffs this week as well over Charlevoix. And looking at the next round, five UP teams, or excuse me, six UP teams still alive, starting with Division 5. And Gladstone here, Kingsley, excuse me, Division 6. Gladstone will take on Kingsley. Kingsford will take on Frankenmuth. Moving on in the next one we go for high school football, Menominee with McBain. They'll host Menominee, will host McBain. So that will be a good one for the Maroons. Also in high school football playoffs coming up, Iron Mountain will take on Beale City. That will be a good one for the Mountaineers. And an eight-man action we go now. Pickford faces Inland Lakes in eight-man Division I semifinal. And finally, Lakeland and Hubble playoff matchup against Marion, that eight-man Division II semifinal. And for a full list of dates and times, you can head to UpperMichiganSource.com. Finally tonight, college basketball, Northern Michigan on the road. They get the win in Texas against LeBuck Christian, 83-69. The Cats are now 1-1 one one on the year and they will head to the Wisconsin Dells crossover, take on Upper Iowa and Missouri S&T.